<coughs> so were you born in Wedderburn or Bendigo? Wedderburn. Wedderburn. So that was born at home then in those days, was it? Or was there a hospital there? I, don't know. I was there, but I can't, can't remember. remember the time. <laughs> <laughs> so your mother, Muriel Cope. Is that her? Jenkins. Jenkins. Yes. So where do the Copes come in then? It's well, Cope was her mother's maiden name. Her mother's maiden name. And old Podger Cope, they used to call him Podger. I presume he's a tubby bastard. He was a mean old shit anyhow. Um, he had a, a big property down at uh, in we the Western District. Lake Conda. Lake Conda. Well, I've got the branding iron from Lake Conda. Have you? Yeah. All oh, right. But who got a chrome? Mum did, or you? Did? The C branding iron. Yeah, I didn't have anything to do with it. I think Leslie thought it was a stirrup and was trying to chuck it out one day. I said, no, that's the branding iron. And the person <laughs> owns the branding iron owns stock. Yeah. Well, uh, anyhow, Lake Conda, and. Um, Al Podge, of course, was worth a lot of money. He, was, he, he came from uh, England somewhere, one of the counties. And he raised a family of several girls and one or two boys, I don't know how many. But Les Cope was the final owner of Conda. And when he died, his widow soon followed him. And obviously, well, we didn't get a guarantee as far as the estate was concerned, but um, it must have passed into the, the Cope family mm. again. But uh, Mom was the daughter of Tossy Cope. Now, I don't know what other name she had, but she had Paget's disease, which is quite a nasty thing. And the she, spinal... Well, the bone, bone, bone problems. Chalky bone. Yeah, and she eventually became bedridden. The old Willie boy was a miserable old mean bastard, as you know, he was uh, the headmaster of um, a state school at well, up in Melbourne. And uh, he, he was a selfish old prick, and of course his wife was a bit of a nuisance being bedridden. And he probably only did it twice when he had mm. his side mom and uh, Uncle Vern. Um, Vern was younger. Yes, Vern was younger. But um, where, where was that? So Tossie eventually died, and Willie Boy was left to, on his own. But mm -hmm. he had a housekeeper, Miss Grant, who looked after the house and the cooking and the f and Tossie. And old Willie Boy did his work at school and and uh, grew dahlias. He was a dahlia expert. And uh, where were we? Uh, so that's how Mum was. Mm -hmm. A Jenkins from Wilfred, not Wilfred, sorry, uh, what was his name? Willie Boy, we call him William, I think it was. William Cope, oh, uh, William Jenkins, and um, he was shifted to Wedderburn at the time my mother met Ameliaga Gray. And I don't know the full story of that, but she was uh, bonkers about him. And when he returned from Gallipoli, um, <laughs> he had uh, the pox. Um, oh God. Gonorrhea. Gonorrhea, yeah. God, I'm losing my memory for medical names. I was looking up the medical record, the military record, oh, and right. I took them out to the golf course. And a lot of chaps that were interested, and certainly some ex World War Twoies came around, and I said, Here, look, it says he got a VD. I said, but I've looked at all these medals and I can't find one there. <laughs> and um, a couple of them were looking there, a bit embarrassed to explain. And I said, yeah, it said he got a VD. Look, here's the details. It said it was called gonorrhea. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I gather that was a fairly notorious thing oh, from Cairo in those yeah, days. Cairo yeah, or Alexandria. So he's, he's, was gonorrhea, it was a European disease or a Middle Eastern disease originally? I don't know where it originated. Probably African. Mm. Everything originated in Africa, didn't it? Anyhow, he got the he got gonorrhea, and from that he he developed generalised arthritis. So he was um, uh, demobilised. What do they call it? Uh, mm. Discharged from the army. 
and when he'd recovered to a certain extent he tried to rejoin and was told to piss off and uh, anyhow my mother got very keen on him and she said at one time that she and a, a schoolgirl friend used to lie in a dam in the gum loose and the abbeys while uh, his lordship was on a horse looking mm. down at them and both lots of parents that's Millie, Millie Hugger's father and mother mm -hmm. and her, her mother and father were against them marrying they probably got wind of the fact that he'd had gonorrhea he, he was cured of the gonorrhea I hope uh, and um, then they did get married eventually they said if they didn't weren't allowed to marry that they'd, they'd suicide they'd have a, had a suicide pact so um it was agreed that they would marry, which they did, and then <coughs> my great my grandfather, Achilles Gray, who was a member for for Korong for the uh, legislative assembly. Korong down near the the Korongs down, not the Korong, Korong K O R O N G. All oh, right, Korong is C W O R. -O yeah, that's us. Uh, Korong or Korong Vale was the uh, electoral district. That's the state seat. Yes, yeah, yeah. And uh, that was up near Widderburn. And uh, Achilles was uh, an amateur vet. So he was a very popular man because he'd go and help farmers with their sick animals. And particularly horses. He was very good with horses. So he used to uh, go around and and, and help these people and of course when it came time to vote they all voted for him mm. so he got in and uh, he he had a, a session in parliament for three or four years or whatever and then he decided he wouldn't stand again and some other bugger got up and said oh this is well great and um, stand again he said I would have beaten you anyhow and when Achilles heard that he said I'll teach the bastard mm. and he stood he, he, put his name down again and, and uh, he won easily wow. and, he, and he had told the fellow to piss off um, so he had a second term and uh, I'm telling you all this because as it comes mm. to my memory so he two terms would have got him his parliamentary pension probably in those days yeah quite possibly I, uh, he was reasonably wealthy anyhow because his father my great grandfather mm. was a mining engineer and he was <coughs> he came from California, the California gold rush when that petered out. He came over to Australia in the 1850s, 52 I think it was, and um, he then went out fossicking and found mines or load and opened up mines and then sold them. Mm -hmm. The mine and then went and found another one and sold it and so he made a lot of money and then. He got very clever, he opened a general store in Wedderburn. <coughs> it was the only, open, the only store in Wedderburn at the time. And they sold everybody thing, including groceries and, and uh, mining tools and mining equipment, all that sort of thing. And they used to pay him in gold, pay the store in gold. So they collected enough gold and then it had to be transported to the bank at Bendigo. Mm -hmm. So my grand great grandfather would set off by a horse on a horseback with these um, bags of gold over the saddle mm -hmm. and uh, to, to lodge at the bank. And one year there was very heavy rain and the, one of the creeks that he had to cross was flooded. And as he swam the horse over, the gold was just lodged and of course fell to the bottom of the flooded creek. So he camped by the creek for a week until the water went down and he walked in and picked up his gold and went on again. That's just it. So it's it still in the bag or? Yeah. yeah. Oh, right. I was thinking he had to re-pan it or something. No. No, it would have been uh, very so solid bags, whatever they used, calico or whatever. Mm. Um, well, that's one story I heard. Anyhow, he was a very clever man. He could, he could uh, read Greek in the original language, in a mm -hmm. Greek language. 
uh, and so that's his interest in in the Greek language caused him to, to name all his children after Greek heroes. Classics, yeah. Mm. So uh, Achilles, of course, was my great my grandfather, and um, then there was Didalus. Oh shit! No, I've forgotten all the names. Yeah, you've got a copy of that. Mm. All those names on. So that so originally my family came from the Gray family came from America. Mm -hmm. That was Grayville. Grayville, Gray. Well, that was one of the um, Gray Town. I think it was called, or could, or could have been Gray. In California, or yeah, no, uh, Ohio, I think. Ohio. Um, we flew over it at one time when.